What we're going to look at in this video is a really awesome trick of Power Query. Now, this trick in Power Query only got added with the February 2017 release. So if you haven't yet updated your Power Query, do go ahead to the Microsoft website and update your Power Query to get this function. So what we're going to look at is, as I said, combining CSV files. And we have a number of CSV files that we are going to combine. And basically we have a the stores and we have the weeks. And this will is the sales for store one, week one. And we have the three products that they sell. We have the units that they've sold and we also have the sales. Now you can imagine you could have multiple stores and you could have a listing of products an awful lot longer than this. But you can combine, if all your stores send you a CSV file, you can combine these CSV files together very, very quickly. And once you set up the query, it's evergreen, you can continuously use it. So let's get stuck in and have a look. I'm just going to close this Excel file and open a blank file. And in Power Query, I'm going to go to File From and we're going to go from a folder. So this will allow us to connect to a folder of data. So it's going to my folder. I'm going to select OK because I've put it in my path. And this is going to bring up this combined binaries dialog box. Now you were previously able to do this very easily in Power BI Desktop. And this is quite new to Power Query. So what we have is we have binaries, we have the store name, we have the file type, and we have details then about the files. So what we're going to do is we are going to edit this query. And when we edit this query, we are going to straight away from the source, you see these binaries, we have this, these double arrows pointing down, we're going to click them. And that's going to evaluate the query, and it's going to open up the binaries, and it's going to keep the source name. Now keeping the source name means it's now after keeping the file name. So we can do some data transformation now on this set of data. So what we've done is we've looked at each CSV file. So store one week one, store one week two, store two week one. And we can see they're all CSV files. And we have in column one, we have the product name. In column two, we have the units. And in column three, we have the sales. So let's do some transformations of this data. Let's first of all, if we click this button up here, say use first rows as headers. So now we have units and sales up here and we have stores and we have nothing in here and we'll sort that out in a moment. The next thing we want to do is we are going to remove the units because we don't need the units in there because we already know from our column header that it's the units. So we have removed the rows that have the units. Let's now transform this store one week one and we will split this column and we're going to split it, split it by delimiter and we are going to do a custom and we are going to take the underscore at the leftmost and select OK. So now what we have done is we have split this so we can now identify by store and we can nearly identify by week. So what we can do is if we select this column for the weeks and if we go to transform and in transform we want to replace values and we're going to replace dot CSV with nothing and select OK. So now we have store one and we have the week numbers. So let's put some headers into this data. Let's rename this to store. We can rename this to, we can rename this to week and we can also rename this to product. We can also then change our data types. So that data type is a text. This data type is a whole number and this data type here is a decimal number. So now we also have our data types correct. So if we go to home, close and load, close and load, this has now combined all of the three CSV files into one file that you can put into a pivot table and you can then begin to work with this data if you wanted to work with it. Now that seemed like quite a lot of steps for something that maybe you could have done a copy and paste in Excel with. 
But the thing is, you now have this file set up and you also have a folder where your CSV files are. So let's go jump to our folder where our CSV files are and we have three files in there. Let's say now our store to week two comes along and we can pop the file in there as soon as it gets emailed to us. And if we go back now to our workbook and if we click on the pivot table and in the data ribbon, if we select refresh all, what this will do now is it'll go into the query, it'll refresh the query. The query will go to the folder and we'll find an extra file in the folder. We have now found store two, week two, and it's updated your workbook in Excel straight away with no additional steps. So yes, there are some steps at the beginning to set up the folder. Make sure all your CSV files are kept in the folder. Make sure your CSV files are named correctly. And if they're all named correctly and the names are all uniform, it's very easy to make these transformations to CSV text files in Excel using the new Power Query Update Combined Binaries. Hi, my name is Paula and thanks for watching. Here at the Excel Club, I offer online Excel and Power BI courses for all levels. We have free courses to get you started and premium courses on more advanced and specialised Excel and Power BI training. You can access these courses on the website and from our apps and there's links below the video, so please do explore them. We also offer custom Power BI and Excel solutions, so if you want to create custom financial models or a Power BI dashboard, then I can help you. You can find contact details also on the website. If you haven't already, I hope that you'll take the time now to give this video the thumbs up, like and subscribe. Don't be shy, feel free to comment below and say hi. See you next time. Bye now.